Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about five signs of the self-absorbed person and how to deal with them. The interesting thing about self-absorbed people is a lot of times they make a good first impression because they're never at a loss for words. It's only later that you just start to discover all their words are about them. What's going on with them, what's going on in their lives, it's never about other people. The first sign of a self-absorbed person is they lack awareness. They're oblivious to the fact that they're talking about themselves all the time. And this can be the most difficult thing in dealing with self-absorbed people is they don't even have the awareness of it. The second sign of a self-absorbed person is they may bring up a topic of conversation or they may change the subject of an existing conversation. And it's only a little bit later that you discover they wanted to talk about that because they wanted to bring the spotlight back on them. They wanted to continue to talk about what's going on in their lives or talk about themselves. My husband and I were having breakfast out and one of the breakfast places that we go, there's a waiter who is never at a loss for words. However, we also know that he doesn't really seem to be interested in us, but he will point out different things, such as we may be wearing a shirt that has a famous golf course on it. And he says, oh, I see you're wearing that shirt with that golf course. Let me tell you about my time there. And then what's interesting is when my husband tries to offer up something about his experience, he doesn't want to hear it. He just wants to continue to talk about himself and his own experiences. So he's very chatty. He's very talkative. However, it's always about himself. The third sign of a self-absorbed person is they really do talk at you instead of with you. When you think about a conversation, a conversation is supposed to be between both parties with both people contributing to the conversation. However, the self-absorbed person wants to talk at you. They don't want to hear anything about what you have to say unless it's another question about them or affirmation about them. I remember one time I was in a situation where I was talking to a person and asking him lots of questions and listening to his answers. And then about 30 minutes later into the conversation, I realized that I wasn't getting anything back, that all he wanted to do was answer my questions and talk about himself. And so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stop asking questions. I'm just gonna be silent and see what he says. And no joke, he leaned towards me and said, so do you have any other questions about me? Totally a sign of a self-absorbed person. The fourth sign of self-absorbed people is they are really drawn to people who like to listen, people who are great listeners and people who really do like to be supportive in relationships. They thrive off these people. In fact, they will seek them out because these are the people that they want in their lives because these are the people who will be their audience. The next sign of a self-absorbed person is they take everything personally. You think about it, if you are self-absorbed, if you think the world revolves around you, then you will take everything personally because you think that everything is about you. So you will take all of the good things, like for instance, if somebody has praised you or somebody has complimented you, then the self-absorbed person will escalate that to something even more and then to think very highly of themselves. And on the other hand, if somebody has said something negative, then they go to the other extreme and start really taking it personally and thinking that they're horrible people. And as a result of both of those, they are seeking validation, approval, and praise. So how do you respond to these self-absorbed people? Well, I'm gonna give you four options. Number one, and this is the most important of all, don't start thinking less of yourself when you are with a self-absorbed person. And that can be difficult because sometimes they are so into themselves and they wanna talk about themselves so much 
that you can tend to think that you are a boring person or that your life and what you are concerned with doesn't really matter all because they are acting like it doesn't matter. So you have to be really careful and realize that their self-absorption is about them and not about you being less than. Next, ask yourself, is their self-absorption just for a season? Are they going through a, maybe a difficult time in their life where they really are self-absorbed with what's going on with them and it's understandable because of the season that they're going through? However, over time, you will know, is this just a season or is this typical of their overall personality? And third, if it's a, a person that's really important to you that you don't want to lose the relationship with them, then bring it to their attention. And the way that you can do that is rather than say, you are so self-absorbed or you are so self-centered, you can say something like, I've noticed that in our conversations and our time together, the focus is usually about what you wanna talk about and your interests. And it would be unfair for me to not bring this to attention because I really do want our time together to be more of a shared time between the two of us. If you do choose to do that, be sure and give them examples and also be prepared to be patient because at first they may make excuses, they may get defensive, but then they may go and really think about what you said and don't expect them to be perfect from right off the bat, even if they're really trying. And finally, be ready to set boundaries in the relationship. If you notice that it's continuing on, that you're continuing to have this relationship with this self-absorbed person, and it's not for a season, or you have spoken with them about it and it's continuing, then don't be so available to them all the time. Set up boundaries between your relationships so that you're not investing in a relationship that's all about taking from you. Do you have ways that you have responded to self-absorbed people in your life? If so, please share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.